uh, remind me monthly on the 12th of every month. You know, I might have, you know, I don't know when I get my statement, but I should have it by the 12th, you know. You can set up recurrence. This is just like, kind of like Outlook, so you should all be familiar with <coughs> how the reoccurrences work. Um, but then I also linked it to um, my report group. So you can link it to a GP window here. So if I just click here, it's going to take me to my financial report. And I say, give me my monthly rec reports, which contain the two that I set up. And print them for me. So you can create report options that don't need modified all the time. You can modify them before, too. That's fine. Put them in a group. And just print the group of reports, and you're going to get them all at once. So here's my detailed trial balance that I'm going to print off first. See where my cash count lies. As far as whether I'm going to be in balance there. And then here's my list of undep undeposited receipts. And I can see if there's any there that I need to bring over before I do bankrupt. Do anybody use groups, report groups? Sometimes they can be handy. So once I've done that, I can mark it completed. I re redisplay my page. Should go away because I've done that task. What's my next? Well, now I need to reconcile. And it's the same thing. I've actually attached the reconciliation window to it. So I just click it, and there I am. So I can just start reconciling. When I'm done, complete my task. It goes away. comes up next month. And I've got kind of a quick link to my window. You can do that for any task, too. Just link it to a GP window or um, a web page, an external program. You know, so there's that link there on your task. Um, there's also in Great Plains um, what's called checkoff list. So I'm gonna I've got this one first. This task tell me on the 12th of every month, um, to, and I set up a checklist for this instead. So I'm gonna I linked my checklist on there. Where did I do it? Month then? Of course I forgot. Well, I need bank rec. There we go. So it takes me to my checklist. I say, what what module do I want to do? What's my frequency? Because you can have a checklist for you know different frequencies here. And I've tied my reports here. So I might just have a checklist that I use. And you can add several items in here. If I double click it, it takes me to my report groups that I've got set up. I just pick the one that I want and print them. Um, I've got reconciles, my next item, I double click on it, it takes me to my checkbook ID or my reconciliation window. It's really easy. I'll just go ahead and add one here um, to my frequency. You call it whatever you want. So this is what I need to do. And do I use a GP window? Do I use an external task? Um, as in, like, open a spreadsheet? You know, you might be using spreadsheets. You can tie a spreadsheet onto here. Uh, run a GP macro. If you record macros to automate some of the stuff you do, you can run a macro. And then you just say which window. I'm, I'm going to tie to a GP window. So you may have multiple products. If you have a third party or something <coughs> loaded, you could tie to a third party window. And which module or series am I coming from? So it's bank records and financial. Mm -hmm. And I could just go, let's say I just want to look at the checklist maintenance. For some reason, I need to look at my, I need to set up a checklist or something. I mean, really, you can set up whatever you want. So once you double click on it, it opens that window that you've linked to your 
your list. So as you go down your list, um, doesn't mean I completed anything, but you can see the last time that you opened it, the date, time, and the user that opened that window. Doesn't mean anything was done in that window or anything was completed, but it it tracks when it was open. So there's those checklists that you can use. And your tasks. So I've done tasks just right off of linking a, a window to a task or link a checklist to a task. So you can do things that way. Try to help make your life a little easier. Um, the other thing that I wanted to show you really quick before we dismiss is, if I can get to it, there we go. I'm going to have to squinch this over. Um, under your help, there's a couple things here. You've got printable manuals, and these are GP manuals. You've got bank reconciliation. These are PDFs, so if you wanted to, you can go through a manual on any module there. Tools may be helpful. There's one on bank reconciliation. The other thing that I wanted to show you is the help content. And so, you know how you can get to help off of any window to tell you about the window and the fields in that window? Are you familiar with those at all? Let me show you real quick. So let's say I'm in my, um, let's say I'm in my reconciliation window. There's a help button on that window, and it will tell me, take me to the help about the window that I'm on. And so it kind of gives you brief instructions. Uh, I can also go to field and get another brief description of what is expected or what that field does. So those are helpful. You can also do buttons. It says what's going to happen when I click this button, or what does this button do? But if you click help right from the window, it'll take you to that specific window help. If I click help here off my system, it's going to give me and do context here. Come on. Oh, there we go. It's going to take me to the whole help file instead of a specific area. But this is something that I don't know if people are aware of. But under each module, so let's look at Bankrec here. There's what's called bank reconciliation messages. So if I'm trying to do something and it gives me a message, it's not necessarily an error. Here's a list of common messages that you may get. And if I click on one, we'll just take this top one here. I, I might get this window, this message, and you're like, why am I getting this? And it tells you a, a situation and a solution. Um, these are common. So you'll have these under every, every module. You'll have common system messages. And it will kind of help you figure out what you've done wrong. Let's see, bank reconciliation setup information is missing or damaged. You know, it kind of tells you a brief explanation of um, how to resolve the message that you're getting anyway if you don't understand what the message is for. But you can also search knowledge base and customer source. If you're a professional on your account, you can log into customer source and knowledge base and do a search on an error message that you're getting. And they may have what's called a tech knowledge or a TK document out there that will tell you how to resolve your issue. Um, you probably didn't hear, but V made a comment about um, posting directly to your cash account. You can set up accounts in your general ledger to that are um, like your considered control accounts. Your cash accounts, your accounts receivable, your accounts payable that you don't want someone coding a general ledger directly to. Um, 
to unmark this allow account entry. That does not, it still allows all of your submodules to flow into it, but it will not allow a general journal onto this account. So it kind of sets up a little bit of a control. Now if you have access to that this window, if you need to do an accrual or something and you need to hit one of these control accounts, you can come back in, mark it, post your accrual, and unmark it again. So there is a little bit of control there because most of your users are not going to be used, shouldn't really have access to account maintenance anyway. So you might want to put security onto setting up new accounts. But if you've got an open system, you know, anybody can go in there and mark or unmark it. So that, that is a little bit of a help there. Okay, like, I mean, thank you for coming. Um, let me go to my thank you window here. <laughs> There's my phone number, my email. Um, you can send, send us some questions or whatever you need to. And thank you for attending.